No more card tricks, right? No more card tricks. Oh, by the way. <coughs> right, I'll, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little more. <laughs> right, but for later. All right, guys, so uh, let me come, that was awesome, but let me come to all of you again. All right, so as I was talking about how to fool the human mind, let's try something else. Just take your fingers and touch your forehead. Everybody, just touch your forehead, simple. Touch your nose, touch your chin, and now touch your wrist. Now that is not your wrist, but still 90% of you are touching your wrist or your elbows. Now why is that? The human brain is so advanced, but there is one flaw that is being used by everybody. And that flaw is the human mind cannot take two information at once. So if I say one thing and I do the other thing, it confuses the brain and it just follows the bigger action. Now, this is how pickpockets pickpocket you. What they do is their friends stumble into you and then and the friend in the back just takes the wallet out. So the bigger action covers the smaller action. So this is what it is. And even the media uses this. For example, if there is some really important news, what they do is they use some other big news, some sensational celebrity news to avoid that topic. Similarly, I'm going to use some of those techniques along with some other to do, to do the next demonstration. The next demonstration over here, this has been banned in 17 different countries and for a very good reason. It is one of the riskiest demonstrations to perform. So who here is the bravest according to you? Just, just raise your hand if you are the bravest, otherwise I would have no problem choosing that. As you know, as I was noticing you guys, this elbow thing didn't work on one person and that was you sir. It didn't work on you, right? You straight away knew that there is. So what's your name? All right, now he's saying no. <laughs> Manish, sir Manish, can you please get up on stage? Everybody give him a huge round of applause as he's heading up. Sorry. Please sir, come right over here. Here's what we're gonna do. So, sir, can you take this? So for everybody out loud, what's your name? Manish. So what's your favorite thing to do? Sleep. Oh, sleep. That's also high five. High five. <laughs> so, do you watch movies, especially horror movies? No. All right. So then you might not like this very much, but it's okay. So look, I have four wooden coasters over here, right? All of these are same except of this one, as it has a big iron nail on top of it. Just make sure it's a real iron nail. Do, don't hit too hard. Just make sure it's a, it doesn't go in. Just try to see it's a, it's a sharp iron nail, right? Yeah, it's real. So what we are about to do is, I have these plastic cups over here. In a moment, I'm going to look towards them. And what I want you to do is, you can cover all of these up and just start mixing them. You can mix them in any way, whatever you want, and just keep them a little further apart. So there, is, so there should be no idea to them or to me where the nail is. Make sense? Awesome. So I'll take the mic from you. And whenever you're ready, whenever you're done, just say done, or you can say whatever you want to tell us. I can, there's a monitor over here. I just noticed it. So you guys have to keep me honest. I'll stand over here. My eyes would be closed. Make sure you, sir, my, make sure my eyes don't open. And so you can begin, Mimani, sir, right now. My eyes are closed. So with my eyes closed, I'm gonna, uh, please don't leave, by the way. <laughs> so when we think of something, our body reacts to it. But the reaction is so small, it's nearly impossible to figure out. But with a lot of practice, you can teach yourself to read these subtle muscle cues. So much so that even poker players know how to do it. And I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use his body language as expressions, and I'm gonna put my hands on the line for this. So Manish, are you ready? Is it done? Awesome, I'm gonna open my eyes. My eyes were closed, Man yeah, man. So look, I'm gonna go, oh, <laughs> that's a very special order. Nobody has done this before. So is there any way anybody could know where the nail is, right? Only you, you but you know it, right? Yeah. Keep a poker face, keep a poker face. All right, some people should know it. Nobody tell me. You trust them? You trust them. All right, awesome. You, you shouldn't, <laughs> but try to keep a poker face, right? Try not to give anything away, but please come right over here. Give me your hands. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, is it in this one? And then I'm going to say, is it in this one? In this one, in this one. And I want you to say yes all the time. And then I'm going to try to figure out when he's telling a lie. Okay. Right? So just say yes to all of them. Is it in this one? Yeah. Is it in this one? Is it in this one? Is it in this one? Yes. You're a very good liar. You're very good at that. Most people can't do it. Are you in sales also? 
I used to be. I used to be. Yeah, you're now ahead of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, is it in this one? Lucky me. All right. One down. Three more to go. The last one will do it with your hands, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get an off tomorrow. All right. So, is it in this one? Yeah. Is it, this time don't even say anything just in your mind say yes or no right this time if it's if if it's in that just in your head say yes or you can say no whatever but don't say anything in your head right is it in this one is it in this one is it in this one oh. all right so 50 50 can you do me a favor can you line both of them together over here Okay, can you do that? You can also mix them if you want one last time. So now this is the scariest part for me, right? Now, now, now you could have uh, rearranged them or not. That was up to you, right? This time, give me your hands. This time, instead of this time, I'm gonna feel your. I, actually, can you bring your hands closer? <laughs> Is it in this one? Is it in this one? Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, sh uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm dyslexic. I'm sorry. So it could either be under my right or my left, right? Completely clear your minds. Now the soul of my, the fate of my hands rest in your decision. So we have right and then we have left. Don't think of you. Do you? By the way, yes or no? Do you know where the nail is? No, you don't. Just say one, right or left, just, just name one loudly. Right or left, just name one, trust me, it's okay. You sure? <laughs> right. Right. And that is the nail. Give him and you shall be a huge round of applause. Thank you so much, sir. I hope you enjoyed that and go back. Phew, thank God it worked. <laughs> so guys, uh, this calls for a celebration, I think. I mean, I didn't do it today. It would have made a good YouTube video, but... So since it worked, let's celebrate, right? And for celebrating, I have something that is used normally for celebrating events. But I'm also going to teach you guys a trick, right? So uh, how many of you have children at home? Like most of you. So you can go and do this trick for your uh, kids. Right? They love this. It's a very good trick. Inside of this, actually don't do it for your kids on a second thought, right? So I have a bottle over here, right? It's completely filled. I'm going to show you how you can vanish this. So it could be a very useful trick, a very useful thing to do. I'm going to, I'm going to stand over here. Can you guys see me over here? Right, so I'm going to show you, uh, no sleight of hand has happened yet. It's still there. So I'm going to show you how you can vanish it. It could be very useful in certain situations, if you know what I mean. Although don't drink and drive, but check it out. You guys ready? It's gone. Yes or no? Do you guys believe me? I'll check. No, it's really gone. And to prove it, look, it's gone. And if I just snap the fingers again, it comes back. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no response. What? I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. But it, I told you it's a trick for children. Come on. You snap your fingers and you vanish it. You know the secret. You hold it from over there. But when your children grow up and they start becoming smarter, just like you guys, and they say, what's in the bag? You can just crush the bag and show this to them. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright guys, just, just that was just a side gag. Now let's get on to the real thing. So are you guys enjoying? Yeah. So you need to pay me then? No really, I need a 100 rupee note, don't worry you'll get it back. So whoever has a 100 rupee note, just take it out for me. I can see a lot of rich people over here. So a 100 rupee note. Oh you sir. Give him a huge round of applause. The most generous person over here. Sir, can you please come over here? Right. Thank you so much, sir. Please, sir, get up on stage. Thank you so much, sir. 
Yes sir, come right over here. Sir, what's your name? Kapil. Kapil. Kapil, yeah. Oh, what's your full name? Kapil Sharma? Kapil Kumar. Kapil. Uh, anyways. So look, I have a 100 rupee note. Yeah, your 100 rupee note. So we're going to do something special. Don't worry, I'll replace it for you if you want in the end. I'll give you a marker. And to make it more impossible, uh, let me give you a red marker. That would be better. I want you to write your name nice and big on the note, all right? Although this is Kapil doing something illegal, but we're going to ignore that. Are you in the finance department? All right, so then we are in a little bit of trouble. Awesome. So Kapil, here's what I'm going to try to do. Kapil, I want you to just go over there. Can you take that chair over there? Here's what we're going to try to do. All right, so I'm going to try to send this note over here from my hands to Kapil. All right, so Kapil, I'll pull my wrist up, my sleeves up, some people think. So Kapil, just put your hands like this. Can you also stand up so everybody could see? This is my. This is very difficult to do, as you can see. Can you guys see his name? Yeah. yeah just remember, right? Kapil Kumar over here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold it up once. Keep your hands up, otherwise this won't work. I'm gonna fold it up twice. I'm gonna do it a third time. Yeah, it's still there. And I'm gonna fold it into a little small packet. Keep your keep your hands up. Actually, close your hands. Close your hands. Now keep your eyes on my hands and Kapil's hands. Three, two, sh Did you feel anything at all? For the very first time, Kapil, open your hands up. That would have been so good. Give a huge round of applause for Kapil. You know why? So all the cards are different, right? All the cards are different. Huh. They have to be. Huh. <laughs> just reach in there. Reach in there. But the bags are all the same. Yeah, yeah. So just reach in there and grab any card. Any. Card. Uh huh. It's a very different. Best card. So I'm gonna give you a marker and write your name. Nice and. Me count the marker. Just tell me one thing. You pick the card and you replace it. Sign marker. 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 With any set of cards? Any set of cards. Okay. Huh. Well, you? No, no, I was just wondering. Ace of Pate card. Ace of Pate with your name. Now check it out. I'll do this. Ace goes right over. Okay. Have you thrown me? No, no, no. Don't worry. I'll pick it up. Like this. Can you have the four of clubs? Now watch this. If I just match the shadows of the card. Shadows? Hmm? Match shadow. Go a little further. Oh, 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 oh. Very good, man. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, very good. It's a hard thing to be playing now.